believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ. He was pretty steady, firm in what he believed, and he would not compromise. Jesus Christ is 100% human, 100% divine, and that's the biblical definition of who Jesus Christ is. Sort of the whole debate about Nicaea is where is Christ located? Is he located on the side of the line where God is or where the creatures are? For Arius, Jesus is located under the line with the rest of us. Arius was a rogue. Arius would teach that Christ had a beginning, and that's the one that Athanasius had a hard time with. What do you mean he had a beginning? If Christ is a created being, then you and I are not saved by God. We're saved by a created being. Athanasius is going to say no. There wasn't a when, he was not. He's always been self-existent, eternal. He pleased God rather than pleased men, and God honored him for that. And I think that is so important today in our society because people are out there taking away the divinity of Christ, they're rewriting the Bible, they're redefining the gospel, they're even redefining the image of Jesus Christ, and they're doing that because it's not politically correct. In that time, when you're cut off from the people of God, you're cut off from God. God needs to intervene in human history. And the only way for us to be saved by God is if God is Jesus Christ. Today I believe it's very important to have a steady life, to be faithful to the Lord in the principles that God has placed and given us. And Paul says, stand on the truth, press toward the goal, hold on to that which is truth. And that's what we have to hold on to today.